Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my nighttime routine. I'm going to share with you my skincare routine and a little bit of my bath routine as well. So if you guys are interested then keep watching. So I have actually just got home from a shoot. As you can see I do have quite a lot of makeup on and that's why I decided to do this video today because then I can really show you my deeper cleanse. So let me turn you around and we will start getting rid of all of this. So I actually haven't changed yet but I thought I will cleanse my face first and then I will change and then I will jump into a bath because I am extremely tired today, just have absolutely no energy and on days like this I love having a bath. So I'm just going to pop my little headband on to get my hair out of the way. I'm actually not going to be washing my hair today because I washed them last night. I wash my hair maybe once or twice a week. First thing I'm gonna do is actually remove my eye makeup because I do have quite a lot of it. And I don't like rubbing it um, with a normal cleanser. So I will just take my cotton pads and saturate it with some eye makeup remover. The one that I have is the number seven one. And I quite like it. It's nothing special. I wouldn't go around screaming about it and recommending it to everybody but it does the job and of course when you are on a photo shoot your makeup gets layered through the whole day you get um, more concealer more foundation more powder added more bronzer so you just end up with layers and layers and layers of makeup um, that is not as easy to remove as just a little bit of mascara so I like to do this first. As you can see, there's quite a bit. I like to just gently press it down and kind of wiggle my finger a little bit, but not to rub. I definitely almost there with the eye makeup. There was quite a bit to remove. I think I still have a little bit of mascara on. I'm just gonna go a bit over my brow because I definitely have quite a lot of product in my brow. You can see how dark my brows are. Uh, because of course on camera with the flash um, everything gets quite blown so it's not as dark on the pictures as it looks in real life. Looks a bit scary in real life. Next I'm going to do my first cleanse. I always use an oil cleanse as a first step. Um, I like to use a balm or an oil but I prefer a balm. And I'm going to be using one of my favorites, the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. It's either this one or the Emma Hardy that I tend to use. This one is almost done. So I just put a little bit on my face and then massage it in and it just melts all the makeup away. This is a great time as well to give you yourself a bit of a massage. I did quite a few videos on self-massage, face massage. I did a gua sha face massage and I also did a like a hand finger uh, face massage. So if you guys want to see that, I will leave the links to those below. I know that quite a few of you were quite big fans, so now it became like your routine, which I'm so, so glad because it is a great time to have a bit of self-appreciation moment, a bit of me time. This is a gentle balm as well to go over your eyes. It never irritates my eyes. And as you can see, quite a bit of more mascara came off. I like to use a muslin cloth to remove the first cleanse uh, because that will give you a bit deeper cleanse and a bit more exfoliation. I like to use the Liz Earl ones or the Aurelia ones. Um, I will leave all the links to the products that I'm using today in the description box below if you guys are interested. So I'm just going to rinse it with some warm water. Then just in circular motions, remove the balm off my face. As you can see, there's quite a bit. Sometimes it will just put my finger in and go very gently under my eye where the mascara is. And it helps with that as well. Now I'm going to go into my second cleanse and my second cleanse is a water-based cleanser and I love my Aurelia Miracle Cleanser. This has chamomile, eucalyptus, bergamot. It smells incredible. It's a very gentle pop probiotic skincare. So many of their products I love. I will actually show you a few more that I have in my routine at the moment. And when it comes to days like today, when I have more makeup on, when I want to do a deeper cleanse, I will use my Clarisonic as well. So I either use the Aurelia one, or I also have the cleanser from Clarisonic 
this is the foaming milk cleanser but today I'm going to use my Aurelian one so I'm just going to slightly wet my brush and just do one pump on the brush itself you can apply it on your face and then go with the brush whatever works for you this is not a foaming cleanser if you prefer to see the foam like to see the action you can go for the foaming cleanser and this will just help me to remove any leftover makeup and also the vibrations are great for lifting depuffing which I definitely could do with right now <laughs> and it will just stop when it's finished and my brush is very very dirty so that means there was still quite a lot of makeup left now my skin actually feels really nice and clean like squeaky clean but not too squeaky not dry uh, and now I'm gonna tone and I like to tone with an acid toner in the evening it's either glycolic acid or lactic acid, BHAs, AHAs, anything to um, help with the texture of the skin. I have quite a few scars from breakouts that I have had recently, quite like deep cystic hormonal breakouts. So I am working on those at the moment. So I am using quite a lot of acids. Um, I am still really enjoying the Ren Red Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. So I'm going to use that. Love that it comes in a pump. So just gonna saturate my pad in it. I sometimes also put it just on my hands and go like patting it with my fingers, whatever works. Because I've had, had quite a lot of makeup, this kind of will help to remove if there's anything left. So yeah, one of my other favorites, like I said, is glycolic. Glycolic acid and lactic acid are both AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids. They both kind of, Break down that glue that holds your skin together in a way, um, which gets rid of all the gunk inside of it. They do act a bit differently. Um, lactic acid is obviously derived from milk. Um, glycolic acid is derived from sugar cane. Um, and the molecule size is different. A lot of people think that acids can be very drying to your skin. Actually, AHLs or AHAs or alpha hydroxy acids are humectants, so they will attract moisture to your skin, so they will help with the hydration of your skin. So I wouldn't like discard them completely if you, even if you have dry skin. You just have to get the right percentage that will not irritate your skin. Or make it worse. Like I mentioned it is really about the size of the molecule. Uh, glycolic acid has a smaller molecule so it will penetrate deeper into your skin. So if you have things like sun damage and pigmentation glycolic acid will be great for you. If you have sensitive skin I would go for a lactic acid because it has a bigger molecule and will do all those wonderful things but it just doesn't go as deep anyways i could go on about these things forever let's move on to eyes i'm gonna put some eye cream on this is the aurelia illuminate and smooth puff reduction eye cream and i love it i have been using it for about three weeks now and it's quite a thick consistency when you just put your finger into the jar it's almost like a balm but then when it warms up in your fingers it just turns into this really lovely soothing cream and I just apply it all over I go under the brow as well and it's been doing a great job at hydrating and soothing my eyes it has some of my absolute favorite ingredients for an eye cream this has arnica which is great for um, actually for bruises so if you have any bruising you would use an arnica cream and that's the same way like it works the same way on the dark circles under your eyes and it's called also got centella big big fan now I'm gonna go into my serum and it's actually a serum from Aurelia as well and this you guys is something else this is their CBD super serum it has CBD crystal isolate and hyaluronic acid of course, we all know hyaluronic acid is amazing for you, it attracts moisture, um, it's great for any skin type. I use it morning and evening, but this just takes it to completely other level. So the CBD in here is actually suspended in hyaluronic acid, and this is just amazing for soothing your skin, for hydrating your skin, for just plumping your skin. So I just put a few pumps into my palms, kind of rub them together, and then just apply it 
all over my face. By the way, you guys, you might wonder why, the, why in the world am I doing my skincare routine before I have a bath? Well, I cannot like wait to take my makeup off when I get home. So I am literally getting to a bath to have a relaxation. Um, I might watch like an episode of Friends um, and that's it. I'm not actually gonna go into like deep cleansing when it comes to having a bath. That's my serum done. If I'm not using this serum, then I am using either the hyaluronic acid, either from La Roche Posay or from Barbara Storm. We'll finish off with some oil or something richer because I feel like my skin needs it today. If I'm going for something more exfoliating, something more radiance boosting, I will go for the Oli Hendrickson Goodnight Glow. I'm obsessed with that. You guys know that if you've been watching my channel for a while. Or I will go something retinol based. But my favorites too, what I want to boost my self-care are these two guys. It's the Sarah Chapman Skinesis Overnight Facial. I've been banging on about this for God knows how long. This has some incredible ingredients. It has vitamin A, it has vitamin C. And then there's Aurelia Cell Repair Night Oil. This is the very first product that I have ever tried from Aurelia. That was about three years ago. And I have been a fan since. Um, this is, I don't know what bottle it is, but it's about here right now. So not much left, battery stock. Tonight I'm gonna to use the Sarah Chapman, um, but this is incredible. What I like to do is put it into my palms, spread it onto my palms and take a really big inhale because it has the most calming like scent ever. And it's really hydrating. It's got neroli, lavender, rose, mandarin, so you can imagine the smell. So, but tonight I'm gonna go with the Sarah Chapman. I just take two pumps into my fingers and then I just apply it everywhere. And again, this is where I take my time and I really give my face a good massage, a good lift. But if you wanna see the whole routine, like I said, I will leave the links to the massage in the description box below. I will just pick my little lip balm that just stands here, right front and center. Um, this is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. This is just amazing for your lips, if you have chapped lips, if you have dry cuticles, if you have any dryness anywhere, or you want to add highlight to your face, if you want to shape your brows, this is your best friend. And now I'm going to run myself a bath because I deserve it. When I'm not washing my hair, and I actually don't really own a proper shower cap, um, what I do is I use my hair towel, like a turban, and I sit in a bath in a turban because who can tell me I can't do it? So I've got this like hair towels, and I will just put it on the same way as I would put it on if I was just coming out of a shower. And then, like this, my hair doesn't get wet. So you guys, as you can see, I have actually let the water out and this is what I normally do after a bath. And then I take my favorite scrub, which is the Colistar Anti-Age Telasso Scrub, and then I scrub my whole body, and then I rinse it in a shower. So you guys, I have bathed, I have creamed, I have taken my contact lenses off, and I feel so much better. I am going to go downstairs and have a cup of tea, have a cuddle with the cats and get to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Let me know what other videos you would like to see from me and I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye.